the old Ford tractor. Let's get to it. a little bit of a different video. I thought this would be a nice spotlight video to do on a unique truck. We've got Bear in the garage. We're actually out of town. We got Rosine right now. My in-laws house, Reagan's parents house. And this is her dad's 1997 Ram 1500. You know, we were coming down here and I was like, you know, we should do a video on your dad's truck. I've never done a video of your dad's truck on this channel and it's a very cool old clean truck and it's got some history with it that makes it even cooler. So I thought, you know, let's get it all detailed up. Let's bring it in the garage, shoot a video with it and just kind of show people around just cause it's not diesel, but it's it's really, really cool. I was telling Reagan, I said, if I ever had a gas truck, I said, it would be this truck. I mean, that. I mean, it's a really sweet, sweet truck. So Reagan's gonna go through and talk a little bit about it, when her grandpa originally got it, you know, all the miles and info, when it was restored and stuff like that. So let's get to it. So this is my dad's truck. It was originally my grandpa's truck. He bought it brand new. My dad tried to find the original um, window sticker, but he couldn't. But we did find like the original maintenance schedule um, that my grandpa had and as well as the delivery papers for that. <clears throat> now my grandpa did work for Chrysler for 30 years and all I've known my entire life is we own like Mopar stuff so I can be a little bit biased when it comes to that just because I haven't really been anything else. Here it says he bought it for $24,859 and that's not including the delivery fee as you can see. I charged him right there for it, but um, super cool. This was in 97. Like I said, the truck is a 97. And the color is technically radiant red, which is really cool because I actually didn't know that. My dad got this handed to him probably when I was in elementary. And I remember just like always begging him when I got to high school <laughs> to be able to take this to school because I just thought it was like the coolest thing. And that kind of what sparked my love, you know, with getting Rosine, my own second gen. And then I got introduced to the diesel world and I was like, hey, I can have a second gen and a diesel. That's really cool. So I didn't really plan on having a red truck, but then it ended up that my whole my family had red vehicles. So my dad had it repainted probably about, what would you say now, like two years? It's now, now it's three years now. Three years, okay. Three years it's been done. This hood actually came from, what was it called? LMC. Um, Yes, LMC truck. You kind of complain about these if you bring them up, these tow mirrors. As you can see, the paint's already coming off. And it's just, it's kind of typical for these, you know, tow mirrors to start doing this, especially when you, you know, pressure wash it. It doesn't really stick that He well. said that the guy never clear coated them. Oh, he them. never he, clear coated Yeah, it. he okay. said that he never clear coated the mirrors um, and then, so they started coming but apart. There's a lot of history with this truck. I mean, a lot of miles put on it. I think he left the keys on, we'll show it. But as you can see, the, the seats are starting to give in a little bit here, but it's, you know, it's been sat in a lot. Now that is the original trans and the original yes. engine still. No, nothing's gone out. Super well maintained. My grandpa has always taken very uh, good care of his things. His whole life he's worked 
three jobs and as you can see on that top visor there's a actually like a little um that is ramrod and that is what his nickname was when he worked at chrysler because he was constantly going he's just a super hard working guy he's super special to my dad and my family i mean he's a vietnam vet this truck is definitely one that my dad will probably hold on and pass on to either me or my sister and you know, I'll pass on to the grandkids, so kind of cool because it's not something that we're kind of forever wanting to let go of in our family. So yeah, that's what Dad's wanting to do. The whole new interior. I'm guessing he'll probably keep it the same gray. Yeah, he said he's gonna keep it um, the same color. But these are not obviously OEM, but I think they look super nice on this truck. He hasn't had any issues with them. They're kind of similar to the ones Rosine have has on there. This is stock, it's not leveled, if you're wondering. Now this truck has not been completely maintenance free, obviously. He's had to do, he said, all the AC stuff, the condenser, uh, lines, all that stuff. He said that he's had to replace the fuel pump, crankcase sensor. I think he said pretty much every rubber hose on the thing he's replaced over the years. They've had to do some stuff to it, but I mean, it's 20 some years old, it's 24 years old, whatever. So I mean, it's stuff that you would expect to have to replace after 20 years from the factory, eventually you're gonna have to start to replace some things. Super clean otherwise. I don't remember what the truck looked like before it was painted up and stuff. I don't know if it was, was it rusted out pretty good or is it just no, a it few small things? No, it wasn't really like rusted out. It was more fading just from, you know, the, the sun. It's really yeah. tough on paint. And it, it was just getting old. So dad wanted, you know, it to look like it did you know when it was brand new but he didn't want to change the color that was never a debate he always wanted to keep it that radiant red so what's some stuff done to it he's got the hood aftermarket lights um, the wheels obviously exhaust, exhaust. all brand new actually that's probably the newest thing that he's done to it sounds real good it does sound good you can't really see it under the bed you can see how clean the thing is and now my grandpa now, I don't know if we've shown it on your channel. And now my grandpa actually still owns a 05. I wish I showed on my channel um, an 05. And it's super clean. It's that plum color. It's a diesel, and, by the way. It's not the same truck. It's a no, no, it is a diesel, yes. He has always been an outdoorsman. So he likes to pull his boat or a trailer with a four-wheeler because he does hunting and fishing. And... He gave this to my dad and now my dad pulls a tractor with it, which he just actually recently got because they got a little bit more uh, land to work with. So all my family, all of the men have always had trucks. My sister is the only person that's a car person. All of us are truck people. I wish you would've got a little bit more video with this, but I was the one driving and I didn't want to have her dad have to worry about filming. But the thing actually pulls pretty nice. This is actually the 318, which I think, I could be wrong, I think is a 5.2 liter V8. Um, but it's a 318 motor in this thing, and he's like, things just run and run and run and run. And so, you know, this thing could just keep on going 400 plus thousand miles. But, yeah. you know, I was telling him, like, hey, if this thing ever goes, you should think about either a 4BT so you can keep the 1500 ride quality and have a little bit lighter diesel motor, but still just kind of a cool thing, or 12 valve swap it if or when the engine does ever go. But he doesn't really drive this truck a ton anymore. He mostly drives a car just to put miles on and then he has the truck as kind of like his pride and joy that he, you know, if he has to pull a trailer, he uses it or if he wants to clean it up and drive it around because it's a nice day. It's a special occasion truck. So, yeah. I mean, it's, but it's, it's pretty freaking For nice. No, if I were to show up with a brand new truck, he wouldn't take it. This is the truck that he would take. He's just always been like that, super sentimental. And I'm kind of that same way when people ask me to sell Rosine, I'm like, nah, that's my, that's my first diesel. Uh, my pride and joy. Lots of great memories in it. And it goes to show that if you just take good care of your stuff, I know that people joke about Dodge transmissions, but this thing hasn't been like messed with. It's just been well maintained and it's lived and ran since 97. 252,000 miles on a stock Ram 1500 transmission from 97. And this thing has been to North Carolina and back several times. Well, he used to take it, your grandpa used to take it out west to do yeah. like elk hunt. He actually has an original up, up picture of it sitting in his um, driveway. We yeah. just don't have it here, but maybe we'll show it one time. It's pretty cool. He used to go all over the country and hunt mm -hmm. all kinds of game and stuff. So he drove this thing everywhere, usually pulling a trailer or a boat. I just thought maybe you guys would like to see a truck with a little bit of history around it. It's kind of cool. It's old school, but clean and classic. Yeah. And the thing is just super, super nice. I mean, 
Yeah, just everything. I don't think there's anything I would change on this truck. He's always asking, what should I do different? What should I do different? I'm like, I don't think I'd change anything on it. What would you guys, would you guys change anything on this truck? Stock suspension, bullet hole style wheels. He always does just like an altering tire on it. Right. The bed cover, tent that's dark, but not too dark. I mean, it's just kind of like, everything's just kind of subtle and cool. Right. Like it's classy and cool, not like overdone. Even like the hood scoop. The cow hood is nice, but it's not like stupid looking like huge. Face. Yeah, it's right. like very yeah. subtle and sporty looking. That's kind of how he's always kept it. It so. kind of gives it like these nice sharp angles, yeah. but like, it's not overdone, you know? I've gotten some people wondering like, oh, you know, what, what happened to all the big deep dish wheels? What happened to all the, you know, whatever, because I've done a few trucks recently that were not like that. Also, and I said, the more I drive trucks on like wheel and tire setups like this, the more, you like it. the more I like it. Like I just, they pull better, they ride better, they just feel better going down the road. They're not so rough. I mean, that's why like with Rosine, we already talked about this in a previous video, we're gonna be going with like a 20 by 14 setup. So she still has her stance. She's gotta have her stance, but we can have more rubber and more air between, you know, the wheel and the road, so to speak, you know? So hopefully it'll still ride a little bit nicer than just a massive rim, not much tire. I mean, it just kinda, you know, tire quality has a big deal with everything too, but it just rides better to me. She's gonna start it and give it a little rev. and a little bit of tour around my dad's truck. But if you're watching this, guys, there are only 24 hours left to win our 9673, so make sure you go to lmpgear.com. All you have to do is select one product, check out, and you're automatically entered. We have super cool stuff on the store. I work really hard, so it means a lot to me when you guys support us because I do put tons of energy into products and the website. We have brand new windbreakers that are super cool. I'm gonna be personally holding one for me because uh, they're just super cool. But anyways, 24 hours left. Go to lmpgear.com and get yourself entered. Claim those 20 X entries while you still can. And you can buy more than one item. Yes. Obviously, the more <laughs> items you buy, the more entries the more you get. Entries you got. She's so. just saying, you know, one thing minimum and you're entered. Yeah, it but could be literally a sticker, but a lot of those stickers, guys, like the Rosine ones, I personally draw. So I really appreciate it when you guys um, like support us because we are a family ran business and it's just me and him. So really appreciate it. Absolutely. Thanks so much, guys. <laughs>